also new at 10, neighbors mourn outside a home in Brookfield. The couple that lives there is dealing with the painful and sudden death of their 34-year-old son in New York City. Doctors tell them the cause of death appears to be COVID-19. And trying to get more answers from New York right now is extremely difficult. Katie Crowther shares their heartbreaking and frustrating story. Donnie Fostner checked in with his parents regularly since moving to Brooklyn for a job at the New York Stock Exchange. But they didn't hear from him Wednesday. By Thursday, he was taken by ambulance to the hospital and died soon after. Jenny and Rod Fostner say a doctor called them Thursday, saying Donnie had developed a very high fever and appeared to have other symptoms of COVID-19. I only got a minute. I didn't get any details and I don't want any. But that she has to go to work every day and do this. And now she does it again today. And I was not the only mother she talked to. Donnie's death, a shock, happening so fast. He was only 34 years old and didn't have any known underlying health conditions. He was so careful. He did not take the subway. He did not take Ubers or Lyfts. Getting more answers is difficult. Just in the past 24 hours in New York, 562 people are reported to have died of coronavirus. Hospitals and morgues are overwhelmed. Autopsies are not being done. We have people fighting to get his remains out of that state, and so far it's working, and we just we put that in God's hands. To make matters worse, Jenny, Rod, and their other children, Megan and Jack, have to grieve alone. We're not built to bury no. our children. No. And it's just so hard that you can't hug the people, your family, 